I tested some of the best laptops for programming of 2025, and in this video, I'm gonna rank them in a tier list based on their value for money, overall performance, and more. Links to all of the products will be in the description below. Lenovo ThinkPad A16 Gen 2. Comes with impressive build quality and the fantastic ThinkPad keyboard that I absolutely love typing on. The Intel Core Ultra processor handles development tasks smoothly, and having two M2 slots for storage expansion is perfect for running multiple environments. While the base display is a bit dull, you can configure it with a much better 2.5K panel that makes code really pop. I'm putting this in the grade here because it hits that sweet spot of performance and upgradability that developers need, though I wish the base display was better. Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i Gen 9. This thin powerhouse packs Intel's new Core Ultra chips with dedicated AI processing, which is great for ML development. The OLED display is gorgeous with 100% P3 coverage, making those long coding sessions easier on the eyes. Battery life is solid at around 10 hours, though I've seen better. While it's not as upgradable as the E16, the premium build quality and portability make it perfect for developers who are always on the move. This lands squarely in great tier for me. It's a fantastic machine if you prioritize portability over upgradability. Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Garbon Gen 13. Oh man, this thing is an absolute beast. In an impossibly light 2.17 pound package. The 2.8K OLED display running at 120Hz makes everything buttery smooth, and the new Core Ultra processor flies through compilation tasks. The keyboard is arguably the best I've ever typed on, and with it up to 32GB of RAM, it handles multiple IDEs and containers like a champ. The build quality is phenomenal with its carbon fiber construction. This is a clear god tier for me. It's practically perfect for any developer who wants the absolute best ultra portable without compromise. Apple MacBook Pro M4 Max. The raw power of the M4 Max chip is mind-blowing, handling complex compilations up to 4.6 times faster than previous Intel models. The liquid Retina XDR display is stunning, and the new nano texture option really helps with the glare in bright environments. Battery life is incredible at up to 22 hours. However, the lack of native support for some development tools can be annoying if you're not in the Apple ecosystem. Despite its incredible performance, I'm placing this in the grid here because of the software compatibility considerations for developers. MSI Prestige 16 AI EVO Comes with a stunning 4K OLED display and an impressive battery light that will keep you coding all day long. The Intel Core Ultra processor handles development tasks smoothly, though it lacks a dedicated GPU which limits more intensive workloads. While it's surprisingly lightweight for a 16-inch laptop, the AI features still more like marketing than actual utility. Given the price and limitations, I'm putting this in the average tier. It's decent but doesn't quite justify the premium positioning. HP Spectre X364 King Packs a gorgeous 120Hz OLED display and the new Intel Core Ultra processor that crushes through IDE tasks and compilations. The Balancing Keyboard makes typing code a joy and you get stellar battery life lasting over 11 hours. What really impresses me is the premium build quality and versatility of the 2-in-1 design. Though it's a bit short on ports, this is definitely a great tier laptop. It nails almost everything a developer needs while looking stunning doing it. Acer Swift Edge features an incredible 4K Plus OLED display in an impossibly light 2.6 pound chassis. However, the build quality really suffers from that lightweight design, the chassis flexes way too much and the keyboard feels mushy. While performance is adequate for coding tasks, the battery life is disappointingly poor compared to modern standards. I have to put this in the average here. The display and portability are amazing, but there are too many compromises. Framework Laptop 16 offers unprecedented modularity with uncreatable components and a tool-less design that lets you swap parts easily. The 165Hz IPS display is solid for coming, though not as vibrant as OLED alternatives. While the concept is revolutionary, it suffers from some quality control issues and runs hot and reload. Despite these flaws, I'm placing this in the good tier. The repairability and upgradability make it a forward-thinking choice for developers who want long-term value. HP Pavilion Plus 14 Packs a powerful Intel Core Ultra 5 processor with integrated ARC graphics, which handles coding tasks smoothly. The 2.8K OLED display with 120Hz refresh rate is absolutely gorgeous for long coding sessions, but the battery life of only 5-6 to six hours is a major letdown for programming on the go. While the build quality is decent with an old aluminum chassis and the keyboard is comfortable for typing, I can't overlook that battery limitation, so I'm placing this in the average tier. Dell XPS 15 9530 this powerhouse comes with up to an Intel Core i9-13900H and RTX 4070 GPU, perfect for heavy compilation and running multiple VMs. The 3.5K OLED touch display is stunning with 400 nits brightness and the build quality is exceptional. Though it's on the pricier side starting at 
$1,299, and the 720p webcam is disappointing for remote collaboration, the combination of power, premium build, and green battery life makes this an easy trade tier pick for serious developers. Asus VivoBook S14X OLED Features a beautiful 14.5H 2.8K OLED display with 120Hz refresh rate that makes code incredibly crisp. The performance from the Core i7 12700H is strong, though a thermal throttling can be an issue under heavy loads. While the build quality feels a bit plastic and battery life is underwhelming, the competitive price point and gorgeous screen make it a solid good tier choice for programmers who want a premium display without breaking the bank. Asus ZenBook 14 Flip OLED Comes with a versatile 2-in-1 design and a gorgeous 2.8K 90Hz OLED panel that's perfect for both coding and tablet use. The 13th gen Intel processors provide plenty of power for development work, and the build quality feels incredibly premium. Despite the glossy screen being a bit reflective and battery life being just decent at around 7 hours, the flexibility of the convertible design and strong overall package earns it a spot in the good tier for developers who want versatility. Dell XPS 17 Packs some serious power with, it, with configurations up to an RTX 4080 and Intel Core i9, perfect for heavy development workloads. The 17-inch screen gives tons of real estate for coding with either 1920-1200 or 3840-2400 resolution options, though I wish it had a higher refresh rate than 60Hz. Build quality is excellent with a premium aluminum chassis, but it's definitely on the heavier side at over 5 pounds. For the specs and build quality, I'm putting this in the good tier. It's powerful but the price gets steep fast and that 720p webcam is disappointing for 2025. Asus ZenBook 14X OLED That 14.5-inch 2.8K OLED display with 120Hz refresh rate is absolutely gorgeous, making code super crisp and easy to read. Performance is solid for development with 13th Gen Intel H-series processors, though you are limited in integrated graphics or an RTX 3050 on the top model. Battery life is decent at around 6 hours of actual use, and the build quality feels really premium. While the screen and build are fantastic at the limited GPU options and battery life lend this in the good tier, for programming work. Microsoft Surface Laptop 7 This thing is an absolute beast with the new Snapdragon X Elite chip. Instant wake from sleep and incredible battery life of up to 20 hours. The 120Hz display is super smooth whether you go for the 13.8-inch or 15-inch model, both with great color accuracy and brightness. The haptic touchpad is phenomenal and the Windows 11 runs amazingly well on ARM now. Between the revolutionary performance, insane battery life and premium build quality, this is easily got the material for programming. It's completely changed what I expect from a Windows laptop. Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 Offers solid value with configurations up to an RTX 3050 Ti and Intel Core i5 12500H or AMD Ryzen options. The 120Hz 1080p display is decent though not the brightest at 250 nits. Build quality is good for the price point, but definitely feels more budget with its plastic construction. Cooling system handles extended coding sessions well without getting too loud. While it's not the most premium option, the price to performance ratio and good thermals put this in the good tier for developers on a budget. Apple MacBook Air N3 The performance on this thing is absolutely insane for such a thin laptop. It handles everything I throw at it with that N3 chip, and the battery life is exceptional at over 15 hours. What really impresses me is the dual external monitor support when the laptop is closed, perfect for a proper coding setup. The only real downsides are the limited ports with just two Thunderbolt connections and those pricey storage upgrades. For developers who want a premium ultra portable that just works, I'm confident with putting this in the god tier. Razer Blade 15 While the build quality is fantastic with a premium aluminum chassis, this laptop runs incredibly hot under load. We're talking up to 85 degrees Celsius which can make the keyboard area uncomfortable to use. The performance is stellar for coding and gaming alike, and the 360Hz display is buttery smooth. But battery life is mediocre at around 6.5 hours. The high price tag and thermal issues make this hard to fully recommend for pure programming work. So I'm placing it in the average tier. Lenovo ThinkPad T14 S Gen 6 This pushing absolutely crushes it with over 20 hours of battery life, which is just mind-blowing for a productivity laptop. The legendary ThinkPad keyboard makes coding a joy, and the build quality is excellent with that classic. ThinkPad durability. While there are some software compatibility quirks with the ARM processor, the overall package with great port selection and lightweight design makes this an easy great tier pick for developers who prioritize endurance. Lenovo IdeaPad 5 Pro Gen 9 The combination of strong performance from the latest Intel Core Ultra processor and discrete RTX graphics makes this a versatile coding machine. I love that it has a great port selection and impressive build quality, though the speakers are a bit disappointing and the webcam could be better. 
The keyboard feels comfortable for long coding sessions, and despite some minor issues, the overall value proposition lands this solidly in great gear for programmers who want a powerful all-rounder. Right guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you pick the laptops for programming for you. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Links to all of these products mentioned in this video will be in the description. Alright, peace out.